live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Nick Strawn. Peanut Butter Falcon. Peanut Butter Falcon. This is such a strange film. We... <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> I just stole your line. Yeah, you stole my line. Well, uh, I wasn't ready to record it. You were, like, saying that. So I thought I'd be smart and say it. So... So I saw this movie because uh, you were out on your little jaunts to whatever Comic-Con land you went right, to. Right, right. And uh, I was like, I'm going to a movie anyway, because I go to the movie every Thursday anyway. And I, I was trying to go to see Goldfinch. Yeah. But the time didn't work out. So right. I said, oh, what's peanut butter? F- okay, I'll go see this. I think I saw this in between times uh, while I was gone. Okay. Like, yeah. like I can't remember where I was, but um, because I, <laughs> I think I might have I did been. see some Facebook posts where you look confused. Like, yeah. I'm going into a room. I, I get a little. Uh, there's I, all I these people little, here. I'm going to talk to them. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I do that. <laughs> and then as soon as you're on stage. Oh. I'm going to oh, talk about... I'm going to talk about... <laughs> yeah. It's all show It's all show time. It's yeah. all show t- business. No, I, uh, I, I got to see this film, and I thought to myself, is it went along... I love the actress in this. Yes. Uh, uh, why would I like her name? She's well known. Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson was great in Can this. Can I say Shia LaBeouf was amazing, too? I mean, because uh, so the last movie I saw, remember seeing him in, was probably one of the Transformers movies. Oh, really? Yeah. And I thought this was a really strong performance by him. I thought the three main leads in yeah. this. The three leads the in this. Zach. Yeah. His name was Zach. By yeah, the way. It was Zach in real life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, was, it, it was just that... It was like a little journey film. Yeah, it was a, definitely a journey film. It was. Uh, Do we need to talk about metaphors and and uh, symbolism and uh, symbolism? Because we could probably like <laughs> do that for a couple hours. Like I do want to point of out the one scene, <laughs> him being born into the world. Right. The 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 <laughs> where he's greased up. <laughs> that was one of my favorite things. Zach Zach is um plays a. Uh, uh, what is he, he has? Down, well, he has Down syndrome. He has yeah. Down syndrome, and um, it and he has to escape. He has to escape a uh, a home that they put him in, uh, he, he, even though, and he's just put in yeah, it's a it's a, home. because they yeah. don't know what else to do with him, right? Right. And uh, and they put him in. And Dakota Johnson's and job him. is to kind of like. And Bruce Stern was his roommate. Right. Bruce, Bruce Stern was his roommate. It Which was Bruce great. Stern was awesome, and he wasn't in there very long, but I, I thought right. he... Right. So, so, literally, the guy, uh, Zach, winds up in his underwear for a, <laughs> at least half the film, and 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 he just he just absolutely brings it. Oh, you know? yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the, the great thing about it... It was not only... It was a journey film, but it was also a buddy film. And, yeah, it was uh, a buddy film. Yeah. Uh, and and the, uh, the guy who plays Tyler, uh, Shia, Sh- Bo- Shia LaBeouf. Shia Shia LaBeouf. Yep. Yeah. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> he's the he's the uh, the uh, not understood bad guy, you know, and uh, and he gets stuck uh, with um, with Tyler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With Zach, and it's just they well, the just, way they met was amazing too. It was yeah. just like it was. Just yeah. <laughs> but they were both running away from something. Right. They're both yeah. running away from something, and. Uh, and uh, it's but when Dakota just Johnson super, comes in, that it's magical when all three of them are together. It's like, when all th- yeah. and that's really true. When all three of them got together, the whole the whole film elevated. The elevation of the film w- was raised. You know, and then she was uh, started her own journey. They all had their own little journeys going right. on. Right, and then and what I like is I like that it ended on a positive note yeah you know because you thought to yourself oh and, and they also did a good job of of like tricking you into think that there's yeah there's some tricks at the it, end it, it's gonna it's gonna end not to ruin anything bad, but there's some right? twists and turns there are a couple of twists and turns yeah. at the end that'll leave you smiling in the end we're not even mentioning thomas hayden church is that his name yep uh he played uh Oh yeah, he played the bad guy. But uh, well, he was no, he was a wrestler. The oh right, he salt was, water ta- right. whatever salt name. water taffy. <laughs> yeah, so. It was great. <laughs> salt water redneck. It was salt, salt water redneck. salt water redneck. Right. But the whole wrestling thing was interesting. So but there's one effect there that I was like, wow, that looked really weird. Yeah. 
Yeah. We, I think you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I, I guess <laughs> they were kind of getting into the, oh, this is kind of a magic thing it, that happened. It was, yeah, it was like, yeah. you know what? That was one that you just kind of had to go with it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I mean, you did that in an entire film yeah. recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. I did go with that. You suspended belief, right? Right. So we had to spe- we had to suspend belief for five seconds in this one, right? right? But it had a music swell, and and it was you could tell that it was like, oh, okay, this is something that's out of the ordinary, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, there was something about the whole film that I just really liked. And this did have some real wrestlers in it too, by the way, which. Uh, I'm forgetting which ones. Um, well, Mick Foley for Mick one. Foley was one yeah. of them, but there's another one that I didn't recognize until I saw it in the credits. Oh, it was um, Jake Roberts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I I really loved it. And the thing the thing is, is there, there was this kind of thing about, you know, nothing is quite what it seems. You know, it, it had this very low down well, kind under, of look yeah. to it it was also an underdog like story where you expect somebody to not be able to do anything right and and, and they're working within a world of under underdogs Under, yeah. you know yeah. uh and it, it just uh kind of left it left a smile on my face i you really yeah it was a great one yeah i, I mean i went like it i was like oh that was that was actually worth my time yeah <laughs> i was I like i actually enjoyed that I, I was not i was not expecting it at all well i was going I in just, not knowing anything i had seen everything else that was in the theater yeah. and i thought oh okay well i'll take it you know the th- thing is is literally <laughs> you have to be careful because there's a group of films if you're not living in la or new york if you're living in the great unwashed yes. um <laughs> there's always two films in the theater that you don't want that you know uh are like super hyper dripping christian hmm. pieces of crap yep and uh the thing or in is, some cases not christian but but just <laughs> yeah just yeah. pieces of crap just motivational religious. well yeah. the religious motivational uh the same thing yeah uh, and the thing is like kind of was afraid that this was going to be one of those uh, and i was yeah. like and if you it, judge it, the the poster you kind of might right think that. You, you might think that because of the sale and some yeah. all that but yeah. it's not it's great film you know it uh it, it has it has real bad guys yep and oh it, absolutely it has slimy good guys <laughs> <laughs> the greasy very greasy very greasy good guys <laughs> i would I, I would rate this as a three i absolutely no, actually, going to go through a three point five. Yeah. I'm going to say three point five. I really enjoyed it. I really did. You know, it did exactly what uh, what I wanted. There were no surprises, and yet I didn't want any surprises in this. I think I'm, I'm actually like a three point eight because I really like Shia LaBeouf's performance. I was like, I've never really thought of him as being an amazing actor, but right. I thought this was like the perfect role for him, and like just the, the chemistry between all three of them right no it was yeah. it was great i absolutely agree with you and he was thomas hayden church who i remember watching in wings was kind of the goofy guy right <laughs> i mean his well, character was interesting yeah and and i loved for me it was dakota, all about characters D- yeah dakota johnson seemed to come in and just kind yeah. of like uh put this this kind of calm collectiveness to the whole thing that uh th- that kind of took the absurd edge off of it right in, in its own weird way <laughs> i mean when things got more absurd her she kind of like got me through it without going oh my god well she was taken yeah. out of the picture for a little bit yeah yeah and then uh, she came back in and she came back in and as soon as she came back in it was like oh all right yeah <laughs> and, and the guy uh zach Zach Gotts again. Yeah, he's uh, awesome. He was awesome. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I want to right. go on a road trip with him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if he's anything like the character yeah, he played. Yeah. No, he was great. He was absolutely great. I I, I, I love this film. Yep. Yeah. Me too. Okay. So, there you go. Thanks for joining us on the Dream Warrior Review Podcast. Don't forget to tell your friends about us, follow us, and of course, like us. We can be found on Podbean, which is an amazing app, YouTube, Stitcher, Alexa on any pod, iTunes, Google Play, we're on Twitter as well, at DW Review, and of course, Facebook. You can find us there. You can also email us at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com.